It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. Retail transformation is very much underway as traditional retailers close stores and file for bankruptcy at rates not seen since the Great Recession. In fact, over 6,700 stores have shuttered in 2017 alone. Big retail can no longer dominate in today's digital environment without reevaluating their strategy. How can retailers reinvent themselves to be successful in today's market? What do the new rules of retail mean for 2018? Download Sumo Heavy's newest white paper to learn the best practices and principles. The free white paper can be downloaded at newrulesofretail.info. That's newrulesofretail.info. It's e-commerce minute for January 15th, 2018. In today's podcast, Walmart closes 63 Sam's Club locations and shift to e-commerce. Walmart made headlines last week with the announcement that they'd boost minimum employee pay from $9 to $11 an hour and handed out employee bonuses ranging from $200 to $1,000, becoming the latest company to give at least some of the credit for new worker benefits to the recently passed tax plan. This, of course, was met with great fanfare until the other shoe dropped later that day. That afternoon, 63 Sam's Club stores were abruptly shuttered. The closings came as a surprise, and employees were given no notice. The very tiny silver lining in this news is that as many as 12 of the shuttered SAMS locations will be converted to e-commerce fulfillment centers. Those SAMS locations not converted will close over the next several weeks. The move is part of Walmart's broader effort to help transfer Walmart into an e-commerce giant. Up until the acquisition of Jet.com, Walmart's e-commerce efforts were more of an add-on to the business. But now with broader moves and high-profile acquisitions and acquihires, Walmart is better prepared to set its sights on Amazon. That's right. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a big, huge news that Walmart is making this, you know, our move and stuff like that. Everybody's like, oh, my God, look what they're doing. And yeah, look at those great news. And oh, by the way, 63 Sam's Club. <laughs> <laughs> right? Now they can do it because they close all these Sam's Clubs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're going to see a lot of this. I mean – I don't know. When was the last time you went to Sam's Club? Uh, I go there. I have one right up the street for me. It's I get the rotisserie chicken. So my Sam's Club routine is I go in for the five dollar chicken, and then a hundred dollars later, I have a shirt that I didn't need and, <laughs> and uh, seventy pounds of laundry detergent. You know, that's how it is. About, I, I like the Costco's. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same deal. Yeah, um, so Walmart's got. Okay, so we see where this is going. Walmart finally woke up and decided to be an e-commerce company. Um, the problem is that wa- mostly Walmart, um, it, it, it's not, just a, it's not a, just a retail player, it's, it's a real estate play. They sit on so much real estate and they've closed and transferred so many stores. They're sitting on so much real estate now. I, what I don't understand is why they're taking Sam's Club and tr- making it into fulfillment centers in, instead of some of the Walmarts that they've closed and are sitting on. So, I mean, look at it where my parents are. They closed the Walmart right next to them, but mm-hmm. down the street is the ginormous Walmart. That's really what's happening. It's we have the same thing. We have a want- giant Walmart that used to be a car for. It's a giant store and they moved it literally, you know, a thousand feet away and built a brand new one. Why don't they take those and make those the fulfillment centers? I think it's just the way they're laid out. Cause if you look at Sam's clubs, they're more, they're warehouses, right? Yeah. So right. that's, that's really where they're playing. It's an easier conversion where a Walmart store is not like the one they just closed. That's not an easy conversion. No. Uh, okay. So I'll agree with you there. Um, I mean, there's loading and all that other kind of stuff and, and it, and where Sam's club is generally out of the way, this Walmart out of the way, it's where it's warehouse looking right. already because it's, it was a warehouse in the beginning. So it's an easier conversion. If that makes sense. Um, I think people are buying less too. So it's, it, it's pointless to build these big, huge things too. So, I mean, it's, it's a good move for them. Um, that's kind of cool that they're just, that they're using some of them to do full moon centers. Um, I think that's going to happen. I mean, warehouse spaces, I think it's going to outweigh <laughs> any retail space. No, I, I completely <laughs> agree with you. Um, it's, I don't know. I this is kind of shocking though, that they were, they closed 63 stores just like that. Yeah. And as of what well, today is the 15th, I just read, they're also laying off uh, a thousand people, mostly in the Bentonville uh, headquarters. 
Yeah, that's interesting too. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, well, they're and, also moving and they're hiring like crazy in San Francisco. Right. So we see what's happening here is they're, they're trying to become an e-commerce company. Um, I just heard, you know, their base, their base is the, uh, the people in the stores. So it's a little hard to believe, right? Like it's not discriminating. Like for us, it's just, it's Walmart, right? It's, it's known for it. It is. And, and Amazon's known, but they need, need to do it. Yeah. It's not but true. Anything else to add to this one? No, that's it. All right. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.